Dan Devine coached the Missouri Tigers from 1958 until 1970. He gave the state of Missouri some good reasons to celebrate. During the 1960s, his teams never lost more than three games in a single season. But in a curious twist of fate, Devine didn't really want the Missouri job. It was only at the urging of his wife, Joe, that he even returned Don Farrow's phone calls. Calls would come home and I'd just ignore them. And finally, my wife, Joe, who has been a big part of my coaching life, said, you know, you always talk very highly of Coach Farrow at Missouri, almost like you idolize him. Don't you think out of courtesy's sake you should call him? I said, well, you know what he wants. He wants me to come for a visit, and I don't want a visit. And she said, well, you owe it to him to call. So I called, and that's what he wanted, was to come for a visit. And he's a great salesman. So we get in the car and head on down to Columbia. And Highway 70 at that time was, was not dual lane all the way. Part of it was dual lane, but most of it was just single lane. It was tough driving, curvy, up hills, down hills. Halfway to Columbia, we ran out of gas. And it was a cold, bitter December night. And um, Don said, don't, don't worry, young feller. Just sit right here. He said, I'll go get some gasoline. And it's like about 4, 4 a.m. And I knew we had a meeting with the Board of Curators in Rolla about 9. So Don got a gas can. This must have happened before. He got a gas can out of the trunk. And here comes a big truck roaring down Highway 70. He steps right in front of the truck, and the truck stops. You know, I, I don't think the truck would have seen the guy. Goes, oh, Don, what's the matter? <laughs> you know, it was it was unreal. And Don said, I need some gas. Can you take me to the gas? Yeah, jump in. So here I am sitting at 4 a.m. in the morning in a place I didn't want to be. I had a little light top coat on like you, you might have in Arizona. Freezing, wondering why... I'm there. After what has to rate is one of the more humorous job searches of his career, Devine accepted the offer to come to Mizzou. 